Hi, and welcome to this lesson. We're excited to help you master our platform in no time at all. This video will show you how to use the Content Builder. The Content Builder is our easy to use content editor. It's like playing with Legos, but for content. It's meant for everyone, especially non-pros. To show you how it works, we're going to create a newsletter. I have my brand kit set up already, so if you don't, go back and do that first. Let's start by adding content to the doc template we've selected during the plan and prepare lesson. Now let's add some images. This block over here can use a background image. To do this, we're first gonna upload our media to the Folion Media Library. I'm going to create a new folder and drag all my media assets into that folder. And then we'll apply the image just like this. Let's liven it up a bit by changing the background color of these text boxes. To do this, we're going to open up the settings of the blue text element and select the background color you'd like. Lastly, if your Folion doc has multiple pages, you can make one page first and then duplicate it. You can also delete ones you won't use or select other page templates to add in. There we go. If you do happen to swap out a template page, reordering them is as easy as dragging into place. Let's liven it up a bit by changing the background color of the block. To do this, we go to the block settings and select the color we like. For those moments you need a placeholder image, Unsplash comes to the rescue. You'll find it as an option in your media library when you're updating the template. Search any keyword and insert your choice. You can brand background images by using a color overlay. Choose a brand color and decrease the opacity, just like so. This next page has more content to be pasted in. I wrote my copy in a Google document and will now paste it into the text elements within the template page. Just like we swapped out page templates, you can also swap out block templates to better work with the media and content you prepared. Next, we'll go ahead and check if the styling of the copy is correct, as I could make some changes up here. The styling is predefined by the brain kit, so if changes are needed, you may do this now before continuing. Columns can also have a background image. Nice. Next, we're adding an overlay. That's like a pop-up with additional info. To do this, I'll add a linked text that says read more below this paragraph. When linking to an overlay, I can create a new one to link here for me, just like that. You'll find the process of creating an overlay quite familiar as you'll follow the same steps when creating a new page. Give it a name, choose a template, and make your changes. Simply exit out with the X in the top right, and now your overlay is ready. You can manage your overlays from here. While you're creating, it's helpful to use the preview mode to check your work. Videos can be added as a block background too. Be aware they only auto play silently in the block backgrounds and only on desktop view mode. For movement across all devices, an animated GIF file works better. Simply remove any text from their elements that you don't need. Once you've finished all your pages, it's time to link the navigation buttons within the Folion doc. Buttons at the top of the page can be linked to the topic blocks below. Down at the bottom of the page, you'll find buttons in a footer, Make sure the buttons here are linking to the corresponding pages. The content is done. Now let's set the navigation preferences located in the doc settings. 
For example, I'd like to add the page name buttons to the navigation bar, keep the page numbers, and change the arrow style. Don't forget to hit save before exiting out. And there you have it. In this lesson, you've learned how to add copy, create overlays, add images, videos, and background colors. You know how to link pages together, set the correct navigation settings, and preview the results. Good luck and thanks for watching.